I think I found my next little craft I'm going to try out. I've had this in my drawer for about, I don't know, two or three years maybe. Um, embroidery. It was a kit I bought from Fuzzy Goat in Thomasville, Georgia. And it was a embroidery kit handmade by Cozy Blue. And it comes with the hoop, the needle, the fabric that has a print on it, the floss, and the stitching notes. Okay, so I found the needle. It was underneath the washi tape. And there's some information. Might look at up. Got all the floss already. I wound them up on my little bobbins, what they were truly meant for. Got my pre-printed fabric, um, yeah, and I guess it's supposed to look like this, I guess. So I guess I just need to study this, see what the stitches look like. And then give it a whirl, maybe? Or should I watch some YouTube videos first? I'm not sure. But this is something I am going to try now. Yeah, now. We'll go with now. Hey everyone, it's Thursday, October 18th, and I'm off today. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to put on clothes today. Yeah, I have to adult on my day off. Okay, I'm all dressed, and I'm ready to adult. i got to look at my to-do list. I'm not sure what I'll I have planned for myself for today. Don't you hate when people plan things for you on your day off? I plan things for myself and I hate it. Anyways, I'm going to finish my cup of coffee and just work a little bit on the computer and then see what comes next. First person that's supposed to come to the house is the insurance adjuster to give me like an estimate of how much damage I have on my house. And then the fence company. And I don't know when the roof company is showing up, so we will see. Fun, fun, fun. I just want to show y'all something real quick. I was opening up the windows in the house, and the sun comes up at the front of the house, the east. It faces the east. And it's glaringly bright in the house, but I want to show you what it did. Look at all the bright little pokey dots on the ceiling. All the light. Isn't that pretty? It's like the galaxy inside. You want to see what's making it? Part of my mess. But it's this pillow. Now one of these pillows that does this number. Well, how does it do it? There it is. Yeah. 
It's just making all these really awesome designs. Oh, look, and it's red from where I made it red. That's cool. Wee. Okay, that was my fascinating moment. So, I just got a package. It's bear yarn. Um, I'm going to bet you money it's all vacuum sealed. Because as much as I ordered, there's no way it fits in this little package. So, let's open it up and see. Okay, here we go. Okay, scissors. Don't you hate opening anything yarn related with scissors? They didn't give me much room to work with either. And they take this bugger up. So, I've been working on many since before the beginning of summer for the advent calendars. I've not been able to dye any regular yarns, except for what I dyed last weekend. And, oddly enough, I was just photographing it, put on Etsy. And, yeah, I'm excited to start dyeing big skeins again. But guess what? I was right. This junk is vacuum sealed. Look at that. Beautiful sight. And all the tape. Yep. I got DK and fingering. I know it's merino DK, merino nylon fingering, and BFL nylon fingering. And I might have gotten something else, I'm not sure. But I'm glad they vacuum sealed it because if it came in a big package, I would have been in a pickle. I cannot believe how much is in here. And they vacuum sealed it back. They got my vacuum skills beat. I mean, they are pros. Yep. I just counted it up on the packing slip. This is 85 skeins of yarn. 85. What? That is crazy. They got it in this small of a package. I gotta take notes. That's it. I mean, they got shipping down pat. So I'm sitting here looking on Spoon Flower, and I don't know why because I don't sew. There are some key fabrics. I love this one. Oh, the little Boston Terriers. Aren't they Boston Terriers? I think so. I think that's cute. I need to learn how to sew, I guess. I quit getting my daughter Halloween candy. Because we just don't eat it. We don't eat all that chocolate bars and everything. So, there is this place in Savannah called River Street Sweets. And they have the best pralines I have ever had. And... I told her to go through and mark what she'd like to have for Halloween because we don't trick or treat anymore. But um, I think I'm gonna get her something like this, but not that price. Probably this. Get her the bear claws and the pralines. But yeah, ten pieces is that? I don't know, but I mean we will all eat it. But still, God, they're good. So the insurance guy came by. It's two o'clock now, but he came by, and I'm waiting on the fence guy. The insurance results was not that great. I didn't know they took depreciation out of the repair costs they give you. Depreciation, really? I mean, deductibles enough. 
but depreciation. So we got that taken care of. But in happy news, I got more happy mail. I ordered myself something. A new pin set because I need 20 pin sets. For real. I don't know how many pins are in this. Let's see. 16 pins. And they're all 0.38 millimeter or whatever that's called. Yeah. 0.30 millimeter. MM. I guess that means millimeter. I don't know. Look at all the colors. Pretty colors. And all the different size black ones. So I'm happy to have some new pins. I love stationery and pins and stuff like that. But I want to go out to Joann's and look at something, but I have to sit here and wait on the fence guy because we have my fence and we have three dogs. And I'm sure they would like to come home from my parents' house. Not really. My dad is spoiling them rotten right now. I walked into my parents' house yesterday and, the, and Oscar just stood there and looked at me. Usually he'll bark with excitement to see me come home. He just stood there. He was like, oh no, do I have to go with you? It's been 30 minutes and I'm still looking at fabric. I have a feeling I'm getting out my sewing machine tonight. I have fabric. I have lots of fabric. I just can't sew. I cannot sew a straight line at all. Nope. I need coffee. I need coffee bad. Really need a cup. I'm on Etsy now looking at fabric again and I think I've chosen one I think I want a yard of that that's really pretty I just don't know what to put with it what do you think pink cream or that mustard color gold I don't know That's better.
So I'm standing here spinning yarn, not spinning, winding yarn. I don't spin. And I'm winding all of the very first colorways that I dyed up. I wasn't even using the same dye I was using now, but um, it's all sock yarn. It's all 75-25. And my mom and I were looking at it just a few hours ago, and we were like, you know, that'd be a really cool blanket. Just put all your first yarns in there. She's like, I'll crochet you one. I was like, okay, I'll spin it up or wind it up. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's what you've been seeing. And everything you've seen are one of a kinds. I cannot repeat those, but they turned out real pretty in the cakes. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Just winding, winding, winding. So here's the infamous beef jerky yarn. My jerky yarn. I vacuum sealed it yesterday. And I just wanted to see if it actually hold overnight. Never tried it before, so I was just looking. I want to cut it open now because I'm going to need this yarn. I'm knitting a cardigan with it. So, let's see what happens. It's all fluffy again. It's getting there. Perfectly new again. Like it never happened. Welcome back, yarn. So that's pretty much it. It's almost 8 o'clock, and no, it's 6 30. I was completely wrong about that. But yeah, I'm going to call it a night. So everybody have a great night, and tomorrow's Friday. Yay!